Okay, so this question we're asked to find the length CD given coordinates of both of them, and I'm just going to draw a quick sketch so that we can see what we're what we're doing. Um, and these points aren't going to be accurate, but this is our x and y coordinate for C. So x is two and y is minus twelve. So I'm going to put it there. So that's minus twelve and that's two. And the d, the x and y coordinates are eight and four. So I'm going to put it about there, why not? Uh, so it's 8 and 4, so I could probably put that a little bit further across. About there and about there, why not? I'm not just doing a quick sketch so that I can see what I'm doing. So we've got C and we've got D. Now to work out CD, uh, what we do is we create a little right angle triangle. So we do a right angle triangle like this. Because you can't work out the length um, directly, and we've got to work out the two distances. Now the x distance is quite easy, two to eight. So eight take away two, that's going to be six. So six jumps to the right. The up is slightly harder. Okay, we've got twelve up to the um, x-axis, and then another four. So we've got sixteen. So that's going to be sixteen in total. Um, so what we're going to do now is label our sides. So the one opposite the right angle, we always say C with Pythagoras, and this one is A, and this one is B. It doesn't matter which way around we do. So Pythagoras is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we're going to substitute them in. So 6 squared plus 16 squared equals C squared. And I'm just going to type that straight into the calculator. So I'm going to type in... 6 squared plus 16 squared and it says uh, 292 equals c squared and we'll square root both sides to work out what c is so root answer and I get 17.088 blah 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 so it's two decimal places it's going to be 17.09